Well, the pandemic and the border crossing restrictions to try to reduce the spread of COVID also left a fragile economy in Arizona border towns like Nogales, where some businesses continue to struggle to stay afloat. Team 12's Audrey Aloya shows us what Nogales is currently facing. Once a bustling shopping destination for international shoppers, downtown Nogales has mainly turned into a ghost town, with many storefronts looking like this, locked doors and closed until further notice. Nogales is a community divided by two, split by a towering border wall. 20,000 people live on the Arizona side, while a whopping 220,000 reside in Sonora, Mexico. Nogales' economy on the Arizona side heavily depends on Mexican shoppers, but it's been a different reality since federal border restrictions were implemented in March 2020, limiting border crossings to essential travel to stop the spread of COVID-19. This is the first time that I see like this. For 14 years, Kendra Duarte has worked at Kim's Shoes, just blocks away from the port of entry. Her hours reduced to fewer than 20 a week as the number of daily customers reach their lowest ever at the business. Maybe 10 or less. And we used to have more than 20 clients or 30 by day. According to data from the Bureau of Transportation Statistics, crossing by foot, car and bus fell 72 percent in April 2020, the first month of restrictions, in comparison to the same time in 2019. Latest data from March of this year signal hope with an increased number of crossers, but so far that is not reflecting a positive change in the Nogales economy. We still need that, that floating population. Uh, of, uh, you know, 40 to 50,000 people daily to come through Nogales. Nogales Mayor Arturo Garino attending a roundtable with Governor Doug Ducey and other community leaders Wednesday, following the opening of a 60,000 square foot produce cooler expected to create jobs and expand commerce between Mexico and Arizona. Despite all our setbacks, Mexico is still Arizona's number one trading partner. But the drastic drop in revenue has made staying open a challenge for many stores, now decorated with locks and signs signaling an unknown opening date. La economía está bien baja. As employees like Ivan Caballero say they continue to see a slow economy. Mientras que tenga trabajo aquí, aquí estaré. And as long as they have a job, they will remain hopeful their situation will soon bounce back. We have months waiting for that. With closed businesses full of merchandise, stores have turned into storage units as residents hope restrictions aren't extended any longer. In Nogales, Adriana Loya, 12 News. Adriana, thank you.